Hello, all of my sleepy bears. My name's Chronically Blue. Welcome back to more Sonic 06. This episode is going to be kind of packed. We got lots of cutscenes coming up. And when I tell you a lot, I mean a lot. Not a bit like a chocolate, but a lot like a chocolate. Like, sweet goodness, it is a lot. And even with me playing the stages all right, it's still a lot. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop to see if anything's available. Uh, of course, it's not available, so we're going to go right on over and see Knuckles, which is over in this little guarded area here that is very, very well guarded. There was no way anyone could possibly get up and over the gate. I don't know why I use that specific terminology. And oh, look, we got up and over it. That's great. Yes, if you have no idea what to do, just pull up the map and try to look for the star. In fact, I don't even think that there is a map option, so you just gotta walk around for a while. I also never really understood the meaning of the little holographic map there, what the red circles or the blue square means. Ah, no. So you have to defeat all the enemies in the warehouse, which thankfully is not that hard. But while this amazing action-packed intense scene plays out, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my day. So, um, lots of painting. I did a lot of painting. Uh, we, just a lot of boring house stuff because we have to, and I am... I am ready. I am ready for the holiday season. I'm ready for everything to be done, everything to be over with, everything to be finalized, to decorate the house, and to just stop thinking about everything. Literally everything. I just I just want to stop, and I don't want anything bothering me ever, 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 ever again. That's not going to happen, but it's a nice thought. Um, <laughs> I am happy to say that if you have been watching the Bluey Let's Play, you can check out that new episode tomorrow, and that will be the finale. In case you haven't been keeping up, that's okay. I can't expect you to watch all of my Let's Plays. That's that that's just that's, that's just understandable. You're not going to enjoy every single thing that I make. I get that. That's just gonna happen. But I have been listening to a few video essays while I've been working, and. I found out the reason for all the controversy of the Angry Video Game Nerd and even uh, Nostalgia Critic. And finding out all that stuff is kind of unique, especially since I started watching Nostalgia Critic uh, quite a bit after everything. So I was like, huh, I did not know this stuff happened. Cool, I guess. But, meh. With the Angry Video Game Nerd, I remember checking out uh, at some point, I'm really trying to remember. But, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there is nothing worse than just watching a YouTuber that you grew up with and, like, watching them religiously for, like, five years or so, and then all of a sudden getting to the realization that they are not what they used to be anymore. And you don't like it anymore. So you unsubscribe. And that is a very deep feeling that I have had the unfortunate experience with a few times, and it's life-changing, you know? It, it really stinks. It's it's not fun. It happens, though, so if there's ever been... Oh, sorry, we got a cutscene with Tails and Knuckles. How dare I? Knuckles? I saw Eggman on the outskirts of the city. He wanted me to give this to you. Sonic the Hedgehog. If you want me to return the princess, you must give me your Chaos Emerald. Meet me at my base in White Acropolis. Huh. He's pretty cocky. It's most definitely a trap. I don't think Eggman will honor his agreement. I'm going. Sonic? Since Eggman went to the trouble of telling me where Elise is, I think I should thank him personally. We never said Sonic was smart. But now we have to head for White Acropolis, and if you were paying attention to the cutscene, you will see that Eggman, Eggman's lips did not move whatsoever. Great. Um, <laughs> there's only so much that I can point out. As for White Acropolis, the stage that we're about to go into... It's not the worst, it's just forgettable. I mean, if you have difficulty with it, then you might remember some really bad parts, but that's about it. 
There's not a whole lot to say about White Acropolis, except for the fact that before we can even go into it, we have to go and do some enemy defeating. But first, we have a mission here. Once upon a time, there were three musketeers that saved Soliana. According to the legend, they hid treasure somewhere, but there were conditions that you had to fulfill to get the treasure. Running speed, rock crushing strength, and flying speed are the things you had to show. But, it's all a legend, so you can't find three people who take it seriously enough to try it. Huh? You wanna try it? They say that if you go to the clock tower with the right people, you can hear voices. You really wanna do it? No. Yeah, those legends aren't real anyway. Just because there are missions available does not mean you have to do them. Just letting you know, if you are, for whatever reason, very low on rings, you can do some missions just to increase the ring count so you can get the special gems that we're going to obtain. But yes, you do not need to do the missions. You can very happily avoid them, and the further that you get into the story of the game, the more missions that are going to be available in every single open world level that there is. So, just so you know right now, if you don't have to do them. If you want to, you totally can. You don't really get anything for doing them other than rings. And that's it. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's the, that's the majority of it. You don't get a whole lot. But we are here just defeating a bunch of Eggman's robots so we are able to enter White Acropolis because he's blocking it off for some reason. But since we finished it within 30 seconds, I think we're going to get a pretty good score. Watching the total score, and yep, that's good. That was incredible. Another S rank, which means another 2,000 rings, which means we are already at 11,000 rings. So, doing pretty good on the ring count there. Just a saying. Not just saying, just a saying. Because I'm not super saying, I'm just a saying. Can you believe my southern twang? <laughs> I know that the Seven Twang was a little worse, but yeah, that's kind of what happens. <laughs> There's a secret room here. Let's hurry to the White Acropolis. <laughs> so Knuckles is right. There's a secret room right here, actually, with a picture of Soliana, a Soliana medal. I mean, a picture of Princess Elise and a Soliana medal. I apologize. And a map, and that's it. There's no reason for it to be there. It's just there. So now we're gonna go to White Acropolis. And do you remember? the really fun snowboarding sections of uh, Sonic Adventure 2, or even depending on your definition of fun, Sonic Adventure. This isn't that. Uh, this wishes it could be Sonic Riders, even a little bit. It is horrible with the momentum, uh, with the gravity, <laughs> with the way that the game connects with one another. It, it, it's just not great. It's not great collision. It's it's not a fun time. Even the jumping off ramps does not feel fun or fluid whatsoever. In fact, just as going up over this little divot over here is causing us to lose major speed despite being Sonic the Hedgehog and on a snowboard in a snowy avalanche. Not an avalanche a mountain, I apologize. But still, it did... It, it, this is just like a common thing that you'll have going on where you're just like awesome just randomly lo lo randomly losing speed for no good reason isn't it beautiful i sure think it is but there are some rails that we can grind as long as you don't jump on them you'll be fine which cool i guess they didn't really need to be here but you know i'm not upset that they're here they're there but once we hit the checkpoint we are now in a mario kart level with a bunch of snowballs coming after us. And for some reason, the first one hurt us, but everything else didn't. And now it's time for the avalanche. You remember Sonic Adventure? Yeah, everyone does. Because that, that was a good game, depending on who you ask. I think it's a good game. It's the first game I ever played, so of course I'm biased. But still, it's a good thing that this gigantic snowball doesn't lose its speed and starts slowly coming down. Just make sure to not hit any robots or else you might have to restart that area, which I have been known to do quite a few times, especially when I was younger. Now we have to infiltrate Dr. Eggman's base, and this is the part that is really forgettable. Like, I don't know how else to put it. It's not bad, it's just kinda empty? This is a pretty cold place for a base. 
I think the fact that it's so open kind of makes it feel that empty. Maybe that's what they were going for? Maybe? I'm trying really hard to grasp at straws over here, but it just doesn't... Like... With Sonic Heroes level design, it, it always felt a little bit busy. Uh, it was very linear. You always knew where to go. As long as you're going forward, you're going to be fine. There's going to be enemies. There might be some little uh, gimmick there. But all in all, you know where you're going and you're going to be fine. Here, due to it being so open, it's it just kind of feels like there should be more. There's just quite a bit of open spaces and a lot of dash pads too that really make you wonder if this was supposed to be the final version or not. But we do have Tails over here, which if you recall, he can fly and throw fake rings that we can't collect. That's about it. I'm not, they don't really give a reason as to why Tails can throw rings either. It's just something that they do. Because at least with Tails Sky Patrol, not sorry, not Tails Sky Patrol. For Tails Sky Patrol, he had one singular ring that he rotated around himself. It was Tails Adventure. For Tails Adventure, he at least made inventions like bombs and like a bunch of other stuff. Because at least he made them to help him get hit through all the stuff. So at least that makes sense. But I, I don't know why they just had him throw dummy rings here. Which is weird, because there's another side character that actually does throw bombs, so I guess they didn't want it to mimic it, I guess, despite it doing that. I don't know. And if you're having difficulty here, just make sure to drop off the rings right in front of the skylights, because those are the things that they are trying to look for. They're trying to look for you, They're trying to get you. They're trying to sell you car insurance and increase your car's extended warranty, even though you don't have a car. Which, that's my favorite thing, when they ask you about extending my car's extended warranty, I say, oh, are you talking about the 1976 LEGO car? And they're just like, yes, absolutely. And I was like, oh, great, that's not a real car, I just made that up. That's always my favorite part. Anyway, I know that there's a whole thing about how you shouldn't answer scammer phone calls, but as long as you're smart with it, you'll be fine. And if you ever get uncomfortable for whatever reason, you can always just end the call and block the number. That That's always the easy option. That's so I, so honestly the preferred option. If you get a phone call that you don't recognize and they leave a voicemail and they start saying some random stuff, you can just be like, and block. And nice camera angle. That's the thing as well where there's a famous scam going around where they will call you and be like, hello, we are calling from the international name of your country. Uh, tax area and we need your information because it shows that you may have a tax refund please call us back with your social security number immediately to which you are like oh well I better call them immediately because I said so and it's like no 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 they're a scam just just don't ignore it if it was legitimate they would send you something in mail just saying and even then still think a little twice if you get something in mail saying that you have taxes, like a tax refund or something, maybe go to your local DMV or tax office and ask them if it's legitimate before you go along with it. Because there's a lot of scams going on. Like, a lot. Like, it never actually stops. It just keeps evolving into a bunch of other stuff and it's super annoying. Anyway, sorry for that little rant about scams. Uh, back to Sonic 06 and how we are in Wet Acropolis destroying a bunch of enemies and such, which is so much fun. And I know that I may not be as enthusiastic about it, but I'm also not tearing the game apart. I'm I'm not, like, so upset at it with how bad it is. That, that's coming later, don't you worry. <laughs> that, that's with the parts that I don't have a lot of experience with. For me, I remember playing the Sonic parts quite a lot. Not because they were fun, but because they were the parts that I typically got uh, stuck on. But just like that, we already have, we already reached the goal. And I hope you enjoyed that little goal, because it's going to be filled with a bunch of cutscenes for the next 15 minutes. I wish I was kidding you. So, now that we have gotten quite a, a pretty good score, actually. In fact, we got an S rank on this. That's how good we were, and it took us six minutes to beat the level. So, despite us doing pretty well... We have a lot of cutscenes coming up. 
So, I hope you are strapped in, you got your headphones on, your earbuds in, and you are ready for the exciting story of Sonic 06, because it, it's going to be a doozy. We, we got quite a lot coming up, so uh, uh, here we go. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, we're going to save, and now it's time for the cutscenes. Chakao! Well, we had to deal with your little pets. Where's Elise? My, aren't we impatient. Sonic! Uh-uh, you better not move. Now, the Chaos Emerald. Place it there. No use. It's too powerful for you to overcome. Now, allow me to introduce you to my latest creation. This is the Solaris prototype. <laughs> <laughs> With this machine, I'll be able to control the flow of time itself. Rest assured, they're not dead. Yet. They've just been teleported by my glorious invention to another time. Who knows where they'll end up? It could be in the distant past or far future. But my machine still requires some fine tuning. In fact, what my machine needs in order to be complete is your power. My power? Yes, I can finally complete my plans now that I have the Chaos Emeralds and you, the Princess of Soliana. That's all I need to revive the flames of disaster. And with its power, I will be able to control everything and rule the world. So, you would be wise to remain on my good side. Don't really have much of a choice, but okay, whatever you say. I'm saying a quick little little punch. Dizzy. Where are we? Oh, look who's here. I didn't expect to see you guys. Rouge! Shadow! Hi. Long time no see. So are they from the future now? Or we're not going to find out? Okay, cool. Just figured I'd ask. This is the distant future, far removed from our own timeline. The future? Then that means Eggman's machine can control time! Eggman's got some nerve dropping us here. Now, how can we get back to our own time? You need a space-time rift, but this requires a lot of energy. I see. You mean using your chaos control will... Yes, but that alone is insufficient. Okay, Shadow. It looks like we need to work together. It's too bad I don't know my own past. Or the reason for anything. Anyway. 
And yes, we are now in Crisis City. And sweet goodness, if this is not the most widely recognized level that there is. Uh, we got more wonderful snowboarding, even though it's on asphalt. Um, <laughs> lots of explosions, enough that would make Michael Bay jealous. Ooh, got him, 2010 meme. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> we got, we even got a fire tornado. We got a little bit of everything in here, okay? So, uh, the reason why you may remember this level is specifically due to the fire tornado being one of the hardest obstacles to overcome, not only in this game, but also from Sonic Generations when they brought it back, because they thought this was the best level of the game, I guess? I don't know. Uh, and just ignore the slowdowns, because that is legitimately in-game. That is not due to the capture card. That is that is just how it works. And again, you can totally try to go for the rails. It, whether or not it'll work is a completely different story. So you just gotta, just gotta hope. You gotta do your best and just be like, you know what? It, it's okay if it doesn't work out. I also love how the loading screens come up randomly because there's gotta be three parts to every single stage. Cause why not? Um, <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't have to be three parts every stage. I mean, White Acropolis only had two parts, so eh, there's that. Now, if you are not used to this level whatsoever, this part might give you some difficulty. Just because it, it's, it is best to ignore the enemies, for lack of a better term. But if you are able to control your mid-air momentum, and you have a good grasp on it, then go for it. You know, nothing's stopping you. It, but you might die, you might lose a lot of lives, and keep in mind that if you do get a game over, you have to sit through the cutscene all over again. Which is... torture. Um, <laughs> putting it lightly there. <laughs> I think you can skip the cutscene? I'm not too sure. I I want to say that there's a memory or two where I couldn't skip the cutscene for whatever reason. But meh. Now here we are supposed to do the light speed dash, but it doesn't really work that well, so we just kind of got to wing it a little bit. But even though, still, it, it, it's alright. We can try it yet, and there it goes. Yeah, if you have difficulty with the light speed, with the light speed dash, don't feel bad. It happens to a lot of people. In fact, it is the minority that, is, that are able to accurately control the light speed dash. The majority cannot, so we typically do a jump and then do it, or we just gotta try it again. But I will warn you, in the future, there are going to be levels where in order to get across a giant uh, chasm, we will have to do the light speed dash. And there's no other way around it. So, that'll be fun. Luckily, we have a checkpoint over here, which is going to help reduce the amount of backtracking that we'll have to do, just in case we mess up. Granted, you know, I'm a little bit of a, a pro at this, so I don't see that happening, but just in case, just in case. Now, I, I know I've said it quite a few times, but again, j just so you know, you're not going to do this level 100%. You, you're not going to do this level perfectly. I feel that a lot. I uh, have not seen an adult do a blind let's play of this game, but if they do, you know, I wish them luck. And here is not the fire tornado, but something almost as annoying. I said this stage actually has four parts to it to make up for the two parts of White Acropolis. So here we have to maneuver over floating platforms rings that are not aligned with said platforms and the angle can really mess up how you jump and if you glide or not so you really got to be careful with that and we are doing something pretty risky here which we are just giving up on because the light speed dash did not work for us at all but if you are able to make it through this entire stage without taking damage i applaud you uh, that is something that I, I have never been able to do before, including now. So, if you can defeat this entire stage without taking damage, uh, congrats. I know, you know, it's a Sonic game, you, you shouldn't have to do the entire game without taking damage. But if you get all the S ranks and all the Soliana medals, you don't get anything. So, maybe not take it to heart if you get like B's, C's, D's, or E's. 
because you still get rings in the end, so it's not the worst thing ever. But now, here we have the part that everybody remembers because it's a little terrifying. We have a fire tornado. Not only is it a fire tornado, it is a fire tornado that throws cars at us. Uh, this is one of the most infamous, horrible, uh, high-speed stages. Just because of all the rumble and debris that's going on. All the jumps that you gotta make that you are really unable to plan out accordingly. How everything does damage to you, so you just really gotta hope that you are paying attention. That you get luck on your side, you are, you get some rings here and there in order to make it through, because you will die a lot. And I, I just think that the trauma of me going through this stage multiple, multiple, multiple times is why I was so passable at it, this attempt. <laughs> but like, better time. Uh, it, it's just, it, it is very inconsistent, which I guess the tornado is supposed to be inconsistent, but still, really? Really? The fire tornado? But anyway, we made it to the goal, thankfully. So now we are able to uh, forget Crisis City. Never have to go through it again as Sonic. Again, we don't have to go through it again as Sonic. Just made it. And at least we got a B. Like, it's not the worst thing ever. It could be a C or a D, but hey, we were close to an A, so that's something. Anyway, now that we've gone through all that, we got more Soliana medals because they're supposed to mean something, I guess. But now we can play a Shadow, so we are now able to select every single episode except for a secret final episode. But now, it is time for more. That's right, you guessed it, cutscenes. No matter where we go, all we see are ruins. How can this be our future? How could it come to this? If I eliminate that guy, will our world be saved? The day of disaster. Here are my records of this event. This was when Iblis was freed and his flames were released into the world. And you have this person to blame. I see it! So that blue hedgehog's the Iblis trigger? Blue hedgehog. I'll send us back in time to the point when the Iblis trigger was alive. that guy he looked just like shadow this is terrible according to the data the princess died when she was kidnapped by eggman apparently eggman's battleship exploded the date of this incident was two days after the festival of the sun if we don't return in time elise will die on board eggman's battleship that means yeah, I think so. I, I guess that means that she'll die? And apparently just... I, I don't think casting will work as truth lie detector tests, but what do I know? You guys are so slow. Look. A chaos emerald! You've already found one! Well now. I may not look it, but I'm a real treasure hunter. Unlike a certain echidna I know. What? Heh. Have you guys discovered anything? Um, yeah. I received a signal indicating there's a Chaos Emerald here, but... You mean we've got to go through there? If you don't like it, you can stay here. You've got to be kidding. Don't be late. 
saying to you. Okay, and with that, uh, that is where we're going to stop right now. Again, two pretty good playthroughs of Axe and then lots of cutscenes. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Tomorrow is more Bluey, and Friday will be more Sonic 06. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, my CB Bears.